Well, I think i am got just about everything ready to go. Uh, I've got my pots heating water. Let's see. The first color I'm going to dye is yellow. And like I said, it was powder form, but I pre-mixed it. And these lids haven't been opened in a long time. It's been more than a year, I guess, since I've died. And Open. I put them on pretty tight so that, ah yes, I put them on tight so that uh, they don't really, no I did shake these up so there'll probably be some dye that in the tops with that there. On the can this dye is very powerful, and if just a tiny little speck gets on something, and the dye that I mixed from the powder looks like that. This is very highly concentrated. Now I don't measure. I mean, almost any time that you see people dying, they're measuring stuff. And I have nothing against that at all, and I understand why they do. But uh, I've right off decided I wasn't going to do that. Now, I guess, you know, if you want to match, I, well, I can match colors good without having to write whatever recipe down. So, if like, you know, if I run out of this uh, yellow color that I dye, well, I can uh, dye it again without knowing the recipe for it. I mean, that's just the way it goes. And everything I make most, mainly I make one-of-a-kind items. So one-of-a-kind items, uh, it's not like, you know, I make, let's say, 10 neck scarves, and they're all exactly uh, pretty much alike. And this is what I do. Some people pre-wet this because they want the dye to absorb into the wool um, evenly. But what I, I, I what I do mainly is art. Objects. And uh, so there are a lot of the traditional rules that I don't really follow. And sometimes I do it depends, you know, what's going on. Let's see. I think I'm going to put a little more of this in there. You can't hardly go wrong with yellow. Yellow is such a beautiful color. I should go outside and get a stick so that I can push this down in the water. The only thing in this water now is water and the dye. I'm going to be adding vinegar to it in just a minute. Oh. I was kind of listening to Joe Lawrence music, but anyway. I think what I'm going to use for my sticks are my drum sticks to push it down. 
they'll just absorb, absorb the colors. If you're only in blue, it doesn't really matter. So I have that, uh, I'm space dying. So this is not going to be dyed yellow right now. My vinegar is here. And the vinegar, in that dye bath, I would put uh, two, no I wouldn't, I put one cup of vinegar into this. Simmering. And I'm almost ready to take this out. Sorry, I'm walking away from the uh, yarn. So what I'm going to do now is take that out of the dye bath. This is a big. yarn would have soaked up the dye. I think I'm going to dye a little bit of this uh, hand spun yarn while that yellow is still there. I'm not going to leave this in the water for very long. I think I should add a little bit more vinegar, just a little bit more since it's taken down. And so this is how I die. I really don't. to be a bright yellow because it will be I will dye this yarn probably about five different times in five different dye baths I think I'm tired of yellow there is a tiny bit of yellow still left in there oh gosh So 
but this is red. So I guess I'm my favorite colors. Is I like to well today anyway. I'm starting out with yellow and going to red. And actually, this is about as fast as I dye yarn when I do dye yarn. And sometimes you will ask her. I'm not going to make this a strong red. I'm just going to add a little bit to it, I believe. I just barely added a little bit. Now the faster I work, the messier I'm going to get. So that's not so good, but, you know. It's reality. So I think I'm going to pick up, well, let me know. No, I'll take this. So I mixed red in there and there was a tiny bit of yellow, but I added very little red because red is such a strong uh, color that it will overpower the yellow very fast. So I think I'm going to add just a little bit more red. I need to also add some more water. If you've never been to the Joe Lawrence channel, you should check it out because it's really pretty nice. The red is taking it and I'll be right back. I like to have music going. So I have a little more red that I'm going to put in here. 
My gloves are gone. Did they die on them? That's kind of dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. I usually, I can make a mess. Die. Since I turned the music up the louder, I'm going faster. So I think I'm gonna, I don't know, let's see what I'm gonna do. Shackles are I wear them every day Working for the man and the bills I've got to pay And there's a place that only I know of where I can hunker down and I'd be gone I'd be gone Come with me To where the wildflowers grow and the trees Smell like heaven, don't you know Inside your head that you know Telling you not to do what you've always done before Well, that's the one I've been to The one I've followed now under the sun So now I'm just waiting for that uh, cloud, Come with me To where the wildflowers grow And the trees Smell like heaven, don't you know And the sun So I'm going to add blue now. Blue was easy to open. The blue is more like more solidified a little bit of the water in it, but it's in there. That just means I have to um, stir it up better. I like to put quite a bit of blue in here. I'm using a lot harder to kind of solidify the blue that's in the Put more vinegar in every time I die, and you take the dye out. That, that means some of the vinegar has left the dye pot and went into the yard.
now. Now all this that I've been putting in here, I am going to drain it into the sink. Silver water that's in here. Sound. 